Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I let you know that Windows 11 24H2's optional bug fix C release update for October, which rolled out on the 24th, 25th of October, depending on your region, KB5044384, was breaking the task manager. And this is just another ongoing issue where after installing 24H2 is just one of the numerous bugs that have been plaguing the OS since the release of 24H2 as we have been talking about on the channel and the problem was if we just head to our task manager as you may well know by now uh, the task manager no longer counts or displays the counted processes which means you'll see zero processes so under apps you see zero background processes you see zero although everything else is working correctly and if we just head down here to the bottom, we can see Windows processes. The same thing is occurring. Zero processes, although everything else is working, um, you know, all right. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft now has officially confirmed that this is now a known issue over on their known issues health dashboard page. And Microsoft has said from the announcement that after installing the October 2024 non-security preview update, users will encounter an issue where apps, background processes, and Windows processes in Task Manager, in task manager display a count of zero, despite having active applications running, as mentioned. So zero, zero, but you've got active applications running. This issue, they say, appears specifically on the processes page when the group by type view is enabled. So this is where this is all occurring. And just to let you know that at this stage, there's no workaround and there's no fix. Microsoft has said they, that they are working on a resolution and will provide more information when it is available. And obviously, the affected platforms um, is Windows 11 uh, version 24H2. So... If I get any more news regarding this, um, I'll keep you guys in the loop. But just to let you know that at least we're moving in the right direction now. Unfortunate that this is just another niggly issue that's become available and read its head after installing 24H2 and the latest optional update. But at least Microsoft now are working on a resolution. And obviously we hope that fix rolls out sooner than later. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.